Forests are an important source of renewable energy. Forest energy means the energy generated from crown mass, tree stumps and tree trunks. Raw wood material used for energy is usually chipped before use. The majority of these wood chips are used in heat and power plants and the rest on small private properties. Forest energy sales provide forest owners with an excellent additional source of forestry income. The fuel for the power plant is delivered in a fuel truck. Upon arrival, the truck is weighed so as to determine the amount of fuel on board. Fuel or wood chips, bark, sawdust or peat are unloaded at the reception point. The fuel is then transferred via conveyor onto a coarse screen. The coarse screen removes fuel pieces from the process which are too large. The approved fuel then passes under a belt magnet, which removes any metals from the fuel and drops this into a scrap container. The large pieces remaining in the fuel are then passed through a crusher, after which they are then dropped back onto the conveyor. The fuel is sorted and stored in silos. Fuel is exported from these storage silos via conveyor to a fuel silo located in the corner of the boiler building. From the fuel silo, the fuel is then transferred on a conveyor belt to a balancing bin. The biofuel balancing bin is used to equalize the fuel supply to the boiler. The desired boiler fuel supply rate can be determined by adjusting the rotation speed of the screw feeders, which load the fuel into the boiler furnace. The fuel is fed into the boiler on a gravel bed, where it's partially burned in the heat of the gravel bed and partially in the gas zone above. This type of bubbling, fluidized bed technology is particularly well suited for biofuels. At the Hamine Chiron Voima biopower plant, the fluidized material consists of sifted natural sand. The flue gas nitrogen oxide content is managed by the fluidized bed temperature and the combusting phasing. Secondly, the nitrogen oxide content is also reduced by spraying water ammonium mixture into the furnace. The flues are led through bag filters into a smokestack through which they exit at a temperature of 140 degrees. The filter bags collect the particles in the flue and cleanse the flue gases. The boiler produces a high pressure steam, which rotates the steam turbine engine, a rotating motion which is transformed into electricity. The steam exiting the turbine is used in the plant for processing purposes, as well as to provide local heating within the Hamine Cairo conurbation. The ash layers depositing on the heated surfaces of the boiler are regularly cleansed with steam soot blowers. The power plant process is monitored with cutting edge adjustment and control systems. In the control cabin, the status monitoring system monitors the condition of the equipment by means of vibration measurements. In addition, an operation control monitoring system is used in the plant, collecting information on boiler capacity, fuel and emissions, among other things. The Hamin Cairo power plant utilizes renewable fuels from the surrounding areas, thus significantly reducing greenhouse emissions.